we want to find out if this series converges or diverges. And because we have a factorial in there, in that denominator, if you haven't noticed so far, whenever we have a, a fact, n factorial or any factorial, uh, we tend to use the ratio test. So we're going to use the ratio test on this one. The ratio test, we take the limit as an n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. So our a sub n plus 1 um, is going to be multiplied by the reciprocal of a sub n. So it's the same thing as saying a sub n plus 1 times 1 over a sub n. And the reciprocal, in other words. So this reciprocal right there is n factorial over 3 to the n times n squared. And this is just uh, plugging in n plus 1 wherever we see an n. So like this n plus 1 squared over n plus 1 factorial. We would like to uh, group things together that look similar. So we're going to group them. Limit as n approaches infinity of n factorial over n plus 1 factorial times 3 to the n plus 1 times n plus 1 squared over 3 to the n times n squared. Now we can start to cancel stuff out because this right here is n factorial times n plus 1. That's n factorial times n plus 1. Which means that the n factorials cancel out. We're left with 1 over n plus 1. On this side, we have 3 to the n times 3. 3 to the n plus 3, which gives us another target uh, to eliminate, 3 to the n. And that looks like that's, um, oh, we got another one, n plus 1 and n plus 1 squared. So this leaves us with an n plus 1 over there and no n plus 1s in the denominator. So now I really think that's, that's it. We take the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of 3n plus 3 over n squared. We can remove the absolute value at this point because we know that everything was positive um, a while ago. So we could just get rid of that. And what happens here when we plug in um, infinity into this, we have a denominator which has a higher power. So when you have a higher power in the denominator, this goes to zero because this is like infinity squared and that's just infinity. So the more powerful infinity obliterates the numerator into zero. So this is zero. And zero is less than one. So by the ratio test, by the ratio test, this absolutely converges. This absolutely converges because we had something which was less than one. If we had something greater than one, it would diverge. If we had something equal to one, uh, we would be inconclusive and we would have to do another test.